lens has four groups of elements. There's one group of elements that focuses the image, as you might expect in any lens. And there's one group of elements that relays the image to the image sensor, as you might expect in any particular lens. But a zoom lens is unique in having two other groups of elements. One of them is called the variator. And this is the group of elements that changes the magnification. It's the part that actually does the zooming. But then there's another group of elements that's called the compensator. And the compensator compensates for what the variator is doing so that you maintain focus. So the focus doesn't change all the time as you zoom. Well, those two groups of elements are constantly moving. So you might have the variator moving this way and the compensator moving this way. And they actually move in very complex ways. Sometimes as the variator moves like that, the compensator might move in a little forward and back motion. There's lots of cams to make this happen. But as you can see by what I'm doing with my hands, there's a lot of motion involved there. There's distance that's required. Well, if you have a small format video camera that fits in your pocket, you tend not to have the room for all of that motion. And so the zoom ratios that exist on two thirds inch um, cameras, you can easily attach a roughly 100 to one zoom lens to a two thirds inch camera. There's even been one lens shown that had a 300 to one zoom range. Uh, they just don't exist in the small format cameras because there isn't the room to do all the motion that's required for the lens elements.